Hello my beautiful empresses and empress. Welcome to Le Ebony Tarot. Um, today we're going to be doing a general reading. We're going to be seeing what's coming towards you, okay? Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. Um, for any of you who'd like to book a personal reading, all the info um, is down below. Please read through everything carefully before booking with me, okay? And do not send payment before emailing me first. Um, for any other info, like um, my Instagram account or to make a donation, again, that's down below, okay? Um, i just like to say, for those of you who are new, welcome. How I read is I channel through the oracle. I clarify with the tarot and if there's additional time at the end, we get some messages, okay? Please do remember that the energies can go vice versa, so just flip the script. You know, if the shoe fits, lace it up and wear it, change the genders, change the roles, do what you gotta do, okay? All right, all right. Okay, guys, so the overall energy, my beautiful Libras, hello. Okay, two cards came out for you. We got real is real, okay, and we got, oh my God. And at the bottom of the deck, we got crown third eye. So I really feel like for some of you, you might come into some shocking information, okay? Someone wants to be real with you. They want to tell you the truth, okay? I really do feel as well that some of you are really stepping into your power, like your, your crown chakra is really... um pulsating like it's just it's, it's it's going off okay so some of you are really connected to the divine i feel like people are really seeing you for your worth for your true power like i'm hearing real recognizes real okay i'm also feeling that justice energy like you're really embodying the empress the justice and the queen of swords so you know you're ready to cut off people and places of things that are not authentic okay because you know your worth i also feel like people are recognizing you for your worth roses and flowers are also very significant to you i'm hearing like the bro the um a crown of roses so some of you might have like really pretty hair or you might be getting a lot of compliments on your hair or you might just want to change your look but i really do feel like you're stepping into your power you're recognizing who you are your royalty i'm also hearing the level of respect as well like people are going to be respecting you more because they understand who the fuck you are okay i also feel like you're heavily connected to the divine some of you um you might be like your powers are really um exuding like you're literally stepping into like a level of just do you know what I mean? All your chakras and everything is aligned. Like, you're really connected with spirit, okay? And um, you might... um, What's the word I'm looking for? You might find that you might think about things before they happen. Or you might hear things before they happen. So, like, for example, um, I when I was chilling with someone one time. And I, in my mind, I heard the phones going to ring. And um, I was like, what? And then, like, five seconds later, the person's phone started ringing. And I was like, oh, my God. And I told them, but I didn't say it before it happened. And I felt if I said it, they would have been mind blown like me because I, I heard it in my mind. And before I could even work out what, who the fuck that was talking to me, the phone rang. So some of you, you know, that your crown chakra is going to be so um, in tune, so aligned, you know, because you've been doing the work to really, um, to value yourself, to value your mind, to value your body, to value your spirit okay you're really going to be tapping into some gifts and it might be a bit scary it might be a bit freaky you might be like what the fuck is actually going on you might feel like you might um you know think of someone and they call you and you're going to be like oh my god like my powers are actually real like i'm actually the shit so yeah um for others of you i feel like some people are really shocked about your come up you know if you're not on the come up now you will be and people are really going to be like wow like they didn't believe in you okay but they're going to recognize you okay so i'm just hearing royalty recognition as usual okay that's right so what is coming towards my beautiful libras okay what is coming towards my beautiful libras okay justice what did i say about you guys are going to be embodying the justice energy okay so i'm hearing just rewards people are really seeing you for who you are i feel like you're not to be fucked with okay you know some of you are really the divine's daughters like or the divine's like sons like you're really divine feminines divine masculines like you are you are the empress you rule all the energies this card also wanted to fly out as well so i feel like someone is definitely sad okay there could be a water sign there's someone in your energy that is not connected with you okay you could have cut them off they could be going through some sort of karma here i'm hearing as above so below someone's heart is definitely weigh weighing heavy over the things that they said or they didn't say okay 
because you know the hair represents the antennas to the universe communication so i feel like someone's thinking about you heavily okay so what is coming towards libra okay we got two cards but i'm just gonna take them okay you going towards your future we got this card last time beautiful energy so like i said this is you okay let's just, just bring this baby right back aligning your chakras aligning your spirit okay the number seven is very significant to you okay this is you manifesting your dreams manifesting your um your, you're making your dreams coming to reality and i feel like you're about to be really shocked some of you might have created like mood boards or vision boards or you might have done rituals or just simple affirmations and they're actually going to start coming to fruition they're going to start playing out and you're going to be so like oh my god what's going on you're really stepping into your queenage power your royal power or king if you're watching this okay and this is you move, moving forward okay this is mother N nature mother earth sending you into the right direction okay but she looks empowered she looks strong hair is very significant as well some of you might change your hair or change your look you're looking absolutely gorgeous desirable i also feel like some people are very intimidated by you as well okay but she's literally going towards her future some of you are extremely creative as well okay you need to put your art out there um whatever it is you're creating on music like, it could be anything. It could be anything creative, anything that you can create. Like, I'm hearing, like, you guys are so powerful. You literally create nothing out of something. And people are literally like, oh, how did you do it? I also feel like some people want to see what you're doing, like, to, to kind of... Because people don't believe it. They don't believe that you're this powerful at manifesting. And it's like, no, the fuck I am, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, look, we've got... It says, um, find your path. So like I said, you're going in the right direction. Spirit is leading you. You're leaving certain things behind and you're going towards your future. There's many options and many ways that you have to go. But I feel like wherever you're going to, you know, it's, it's going to be feasible for you, okay? i am also just heard money, money, money. So, yes, honey, yes. Right, so, what is coming towards my beautiful Libras? Please clarify keep yourself balanced we got reflection yeah so i told you someone's going through their karma <laughs> when people try to fuck with a libra I, I just i don't know why they do it do you because i don't know okay someone is looking at you so this could have been that person we saw before who's crying someone's definitely in the darkness here they're reflecting on the things that they've done the things that they said that they didn't say how they treated you okay and this is you you see all those symbols like someone's definitely seeing um signs symbols and synchronicities everywhere they could be thinking about you and then something comes up and they're just shocked also they're definitely shocked about your um resilience and your ability to be able to do shit on your own so i feel like someone was definitely um sleeping on you okay and now that this motherfucker's awake all right i'm hearing uh, an energy of stalking as well i feel like someone is really like watching your social media someone could be going by, by your house they could be trying to get information on you i heard tapping into someone's phone you better not you better not okay yeah look we got lost oh no someone lost out on the libra and the libra is looking good and doing good okay yes we got self-belief that wanted to come out so like i said this is you believing in yourself and going towards your journey look at all that yellow all that abundance behind you Ad admiration beauty also um yellow can transmute to jealousy as well so i do feel like there's a lot of envy around you okay yeah but this is the see no evil hear no evil speak no evil card so i don't feel like you're letting anybody's um negativity touch you okay also i feel like someone's trying to have self-belief like they're trying to come towards you but they're very intimidated this could be anyone it could be an ex or someone you're not speaking to look at this that just came out ancestral connection what i say what i say about you guys being connected to the divine some of you definitely have ancestor altars or you connect to certain deities you've been praying you've been manifesting you've been doing what you gotta do and the divine is bringing it to you also i feel like some of you could be um spiritually connected to somebody and you know the ancestors are fucking this person's mind up right now <laughs> divine timing i just heard with this patience but this is you being released from all that drama and all that negativity you see all that darkness and you've transformed and you're going into a you're you're a butterfly blooming going into karma peaceful waters okay and this is this person down in the depths just thinking about things i also just hearing like someone didn't listen to you or someone didn't take heed of your advice and they're um realizing that you know what you said was the truth you are the truth i'm hearing like someone is really understanding your regalness some of you are also like ancient souls so you could have been reincarnated 
Um, so, you know, you, you could just be very, very wise or you just, you don't know why the fuck you'd be knowing shit, but you just know it. It's because you've been here before, okay? Some of you have extremely powerful ancestors. Ooh. Right, so coming towards libras okay wonder yeah that talk about i spoke about the admiration with the yellow that sunflowers that's what that means so someone is wondering about you they're wondering they're wishing they're praying they're trying to draw you towards them they could be doing something to do with magic or spell work as well or they could just be chanting your name like i'm really getting an image of like a man looking at a woman's picture and he's just like bring her to me let me speak to her so you know someone's doing some 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 things look the cosmic card came out with the express so clarify what i just motherfucking said someone's talking to the cosmos about you okay please clarify self-belief what's coming towards my beautiful um libras alchemy i told you yes manifesting the magician you can bring whatever you want towards you some of you are powerful powerful but you know what you need to believe in yourself and i really do feel that that's what's happening you are believing in yourself you are understanding that do you know what i can do whatever it is i put my mind to it i'm a creative being i am a goddess i am a god okay i've got the powers of the divine no one can stop me that's right and what did i talk about wisdom and ancient knowledge come through with the comfort some of you could be connecting with a grandmother All right please clarify ancestral connection yes be bold be you and be beautiful this is you stepping into your power. All that pink around you, that's unconditional love, okay? And express, so someone definitely wants to talk to you. This is also you guys have really happy like. <laughs> so whatever shocking news that you're going to hear, it's going to make you laugh. You're going to be very satisfied with the feathers here as well. That's definitely ancestral um, or angelic communication, okay? I just said angelic or ancestral communication. Behind that, we've got cosmic. Come on, guys. Some of you are, um, you could be tarot readers as well. You read tarot, your psychics, your um, high priestesses. You just got, you just got it in the bag. And you know, a lot of people don't realize that Libras they rule cosmic law. They're connected to everything. You know, they wrote the rules, they set the laws. They, you know, fucking with the Libra is like fucking with Mother Nature. This is you. Um, this is this person out in the cold, just wondering, like, you know, oh well, oh well. <laughs> or this is them. This is them looking at you. So you don't even see this motherfucker. They're watching you and you're focused on yourself and tending to your garden, nurturing yourself, keeping yourself balanced. I feel like someone else is not very balanced right now, okay? Yeah, you were just like, you know what? You, you better just fuck off out my life, okay? And this is you emerging again with that butterfly energy. So gorgeous energy, gorgeous. I just heard cosmic galaxy princess. That's really beautiful. Okay, someone sees you like that as well. Someone can't believe how bold you are. Like, someone underestimated somebody's strength here. How dare they? It's coming towards my beautiful Libras. Oh, my God. The Four of Swords, yeah. Told you somebody's sitting there thinking about you, okay? You see how she's massaging this, this man's mind here? He's just like, oh, my God. Somebody could try to be... Somebody could be trying to go to somebody for comfort, but it's just not working, okay? Also, I feel like somebody's reflecting on, like... Comfort in times when they were with you, they took it for advantage, okay? But someone, this is definitely something you're at a distance from. They're definitely sitting down and reflecting and thinking about things, and you're just there healing, okay? Look at you, the queen of pentacles, looking plump, righteous, and royal, and regal. Look at look at the size of your crown, okay? Look at those titties. <laughs> Some of you have got nice titties, all right? What is, um coming towards Libra, okay, we've got the two of pentacles, so this is you um, working on yourself, having two different opportunities, okay, handling your business, some of you could have two two businesses, two ideas, this could just you literally being self-sufficient at home, just taking care of things at home, cooking, cleaning, balancing your life, you know, whatever it is you're doing, I also feel like somebody wants to come and work with you, someone wants to offer you something, okay, but like I said, you know, this is you putting in the work, because this is you in this row, you know, let, let your hair show you the way. Let your talents show you the way. But you've got to put in that work, okay? You know, there's somebody behind this person. It looks like an old lady. So I feel like that's your spirit guide. Some of you definitely could be um, connecting with like an ancestor or a grandmother figure. She's there. She's backing you. So that's you putting your work in. And that's somebody there like watching over you and protecting you. Okay? 
oh yes we got judgment in this card the judgment in this deck sorry the judgment card is actually really positive it represents success and you know look what we're talking about with all this spirituality right here this is you reaching a level of spirituality like you're successful you've done it you've made it now you're in an element of self-peace okay you're about to get your just rewards that's the divine blessing you the calling judgment upon you and someone else is facing judgment. I just I just don't feel like it's that pretty. Yeah, look at the Eight of Swords. That's that person. This is you at peace, and that's that person right behind you. Oh, well. It's coming towards beautiful Libras. Oh, we got the heart. Oh, my God. That's so sweet. So, yeah, follow your heart. Okay, I really do feel like this is talking about your passions as well. You're going to be doing something that you really love. Also, I feel like this is whoever this is. Yeah, we got the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. So, and look, he's kissing her hand. He's kissing the queen. What did I say about queen, royalty, and the crown? Can you see that? Somebody wants to bow down to you. Somebody, like I said, they recognize you for who you truly are. They recognize your worth. Okay, they're awakening to how they feel about you, okay? Some of you, there could be specific differences. You see how she's like, she's got a foot. This is actually the goddess of death, but this person, he spends time with the goddess of death and the goddess of um, the light, right? Or the other goddess, but he actually realizes that it's the same person, okay? So this is you definitely going for a transformation. Somebody's seen two different sides to you, okay? So this person could have brought you a lot of darkness, but they're really realizing, you know, she's the goddess of death, but she's also the goddess of life. Look at all that... um. The sun behind her with all those hands in the air. So someone definitely wants to reach out. They want to connect with you. Okay, you're, you're weighing heavy on someone's heart. Did I not say that earlier with this card? I said that and this this card literally says heart. Oh my God, it's so in alignment. But this is also you tapping into your talents, okay? Believing in yourself, working night and day. I also feel like you are raising the vibration to bring someone towards you who's really going to cherish you, who's really going to love you and treat you like the queen that you that you that you deserve to be. Okay. Yeah, we got the seven of wands behind it. So someone is definitely a bit conflicted. They might feel like you're going to block them. You're not going to reach them out. But this is this person adoring you. Look at the way she's looking at him. Like yes, and look at those those juicy tellers. Some of you are definitely mothers or you're good nurturers or somebody just. They just like your body, okay? You're just sexy, sexy, sexy. But yeah, I'm trying to think about the three of ones in another deck. That's about waiting for your shipments to come in. So yeah, somebody, I feel like somebody wants to travel towards you. They definitely want to express something to you, okay? Okay? But this is some good shit coming. Like, I feel like you're about to be served as a queen because, you know, real recognizes real. Oh, oh my God. The royalty with the crown here. Okay. Right. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. So, what's coming towards um, beautiful Libras? Please clarify the four of swords. That was quick. We got the four. Yeah. So, somebody wants to take that leap of faith. They want to take that risk and leap towards you. Okay. This is also somebody feeling a bit foolish because this is in the um. This is in the row of the karma card to keep yourself balanced. I also feel like you have been healing yourself and you're you're now ready to go forward, to do what it is that you want to do, to take that risk, take that leap of faith. Being bold. Okay, please clarify the two of pentacles. The emperor. Yes, honey, yes, this is you being a boss. I told you. You putting in that work is going to level you, level you up to this. And, you know, we are the empress, okay? And our opposite energy is Aries. Aries is the emperor. So you're balancing out your energies, both masculine and feminine, okay? Masculine and feminine. Masculine and feminine. Okay, you're putting in that work. Masculine and feminine within this card. And you see, this is a woman in this emperor deck. So some of you are boss ass bitches, very intimidating to somebody. Some of you are definitely entrepreneurs. Whatever it is you're working, you're going to be very, and what I mean, you're going to be self-sufficient. You're going to be raking in that money. Also, wealth comes in many different forms. So it doesn't just have to be um, monetary. Like you could be rich in spirit, you know, rich in um, health you know, just stable, like success means many different things to, to many different people, but whatever it is that you're working on, you're going to be successful, this could just simply just be like a prayer, and you know, it, it comes to fruition, okay, I also feel like somebody definitely wants to come and be your emperor, 
they see that you're working hard it really turns this person on how self-sufficient you are and somebody definitely wants to take care of you here's that shock as well with the um the the tower card so it's so shocking revelation i feel like somebody you're not expecting to reach out to you or to contact you is, is going to speak up i'm just hearing that like, breaking my silence or oh, this is really abundant news. Some of you might get a check that you're not expecting. Oh my God, I just said a check you're not expecting. What fucking just came out, people? Does this not look like it? This is the ace of coins. This is a purse with money. I just said it. I just motherfucking said it. And it came out with the eight of cups. So this is you walking away. I just heard Craig David. I'm walking away from the troubles in my life. Walking away from your troubles. That empty cup to walk towards something tangible. Okay? I just listen it's going to make you very happy because whatever you're doing you're doing it from the heart okay also this is this person making that bold move to leave what no longer serves them and come towards something serious which is you I just heard looking like a bag of money you know someone's thinking with their heart with their mind with everything like someone's thinking about serious commitment here or this again like this is you you just committed to your goals Gorgeous energy. And we've got the tower card again. Definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio. I got Aries and Scorpio here. Heavy. Okay. It could be an Aquarius, a water sign, an earth sign. Okay. But yeah, some shocking revelations. I, I, I'm feeling like sudden changes. I'm also hearing like some of you are about to blow up. You're not going to believe it. Like you're about to go and level up to the top. Okay. Oh my God. Behind this is the six of wands. When I mean some of you are about to blow up. If some of you have got an online presence, best believe best believe you're about to talk be the talk of the town you see how she's re receiving her rewards receiving her trophies like i said the divine's about to bless you with whatever field it is that you're working this is this hater right here feeling intimidated to come towards you or ne not necessarily a hater it could just be i heard hater though so you got some friends or someone around you that's hating but someone's very intimidated to approach you and they're just they're um they're devastated right now they feel like you're just going to be like you know what fuck you this is you like i said did i not say oh my god I said you're embodying the Queen of Swords energy plus the Empress plus the Justice. We've got all of that on, on here, okay? And this is you, Nine of Coins, tending to your garden. And this is Six of Coins, people wanting to invest in you. I mean, God, this is gorgeous energy, man. This is gorgeous energy. So what extra advice do we have for the Libras? Oh, this hair's getting on my nerves. What extra advice do we have? Oh, that wanted to fly out. It was two cards. Oh my, did I not say looking like a bag of money? I said the universe, I said blessings are coming. You ain't going to see it coming, but it's coming. This is the universe blessing you and it came out with individuality. So you're precious, you're rare, you're unique. Whatever gifts and talents you have, you're different. Like there's no one else like you, okay? And you're going to be blessed for being yourself, for being true to yourself, for being real. This is really gorgeous energy. And we've got, look at this at the bottom of the deck. Creation. You can create your destiny. You can create your talents. I told you that you're tapped in. Look at all the, the cosmic energy behind you. Some of you are definitely um tarot readers, okay? Or you should be. Or spiritual talks. Like, you know, spirituality comes in many different forms, okay? I get so many words and symbols in my mind. It's hard to convey it sometimes. But, you know, just take what... I'm telling you, blessings are about to come, darling. Also, this is this person coming towards you with that bag. But... <sighs> money man investments some of you might win money or win the lottery or i don't motherfucking know some of you might become million trillion heirs i don't know man just believe in yourself we got the emperor here with the ace of coins and the luck come on now come on now come on now all right for libra sorry my hair keeps getting stuck oh okay what's coming towards libras all right, that's too many cards. We just want one divine. Okay, no, just one. I release my need to be right. I am defenseless. I am defenseless and at peace. Okay, so you're definitely peaceful. I feel like this is this other person. Like somebody wanted to one up you. Someone wanted to, you know, try to be the empress or the emperor. Someone tried to, to be you, tried to do it like you. But you're the realist here, okay? And now this person wants to release that. And they want to come towards you, okay? They want to make peace with you, okay? This is also you releasing yourself. You, you know that you're right. Like, that's why I don't even feel like it's this is you. Because you are the truth, okay? You're the truth. So that, that's these, that other person, whoever the fuck that is. 
all right look at this i am a light worker in disguise i don't have to talk about it i can just be it did i not say be bold be you be brilliant you don't have to talk about it okay people are going to recognize that you're real you don't have to say shit i told you that you're connected to the divine i said it i said it i said it this is how people are going to be like <gasps> also there could have been something that you predicted and it comes to fruition or it comes true or there's a reader you're watching and you whatever she or he is saying is playing the fuck out okay my pro my productivity stems from inspiration when i focus on what brings me joy my tasks become effortless actions yes focus on what brings you joy work on your projects okay focus on yourself so I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. I did. Team Libra. You're about to show motherfuckers who you truly are, okay? Respect, wealth, abundance, beauty, individuality, uniqueness. Claim it. Gorgeous reading. If you um, like the reading, please do not hesitate to... Excuse me, comment down below. Oh, someone didn't want me to say that. Someone's hating on the Libras, man. They're always hating on us, isn't it? Um, for anything else down below, guys, I need to go. <laughs> Cheers.